Now, I'm going to do one more quick story. So apparently, I'm not a big Linux user. I don't know, there are a ton, a ton of people out here that are Linux users. Uh, Linux is a an operating system, right? It's another operating system, just like Windows, right? Just like Mac OS, just like Chrome OS, um, but runs on Linux. Now, Android is... I guess you could say Linux based. It has a lot of similarities. So you can run Linux. Of course, you can run Linux on a Windows machine or whatever machine you want to. Um, but it looks like Google is going to bridge and actually let you run your own. It's going to support Android. Google is going to let Android support Linux apps. So you're going to be actually able to run officially run Linux apps in Android, just like Chrome OS. So Google is developing the framework to let you run Debian in a virtual machine on your Android device. That is cool. Again, I haven't really used Linux before, although I know people that absolutely love it and don't use Windows, don't use Mac OS. They only use Debian or Linux. Linux is the name. Debian is the... Um, It'd be like Mac OS in Sequoia, right? It's just a another version of Linux. Now, you can do it right now. There's actually some emulators on the Google Play Store. You can download and run it. But that's kind of like a workaround. This, what Google is doing, is going to officially, officially support Linux. So it's a very, very cool thing that they're doing. I know if you're a developer, developers love Linux easier to code, love to build apps on Linux. Um, many people just prefer it, right? It's a lot lighter. So Windows is very heavy as far as the base. Uh, Windows is, I want it's, it's many gigabytes, right? Linux is a lot lighter, a lot less fluff, just straight to the point, unlike Windows where it's got all sorts of crap added on there. Now, obviously you can delete them, but Linux is, is a... Um, preferred operating system for developers and tech techies google developing a linux terminal app for android again there are some on the play store right now i checked right before because like damn it i was like i thought we could run linux on android sure enough you can it's just unofficial but now google is going to make it official right the terminal app can be enabled via developer options and will install Debian in a virtual machine. That is really cool. This app is likely intended for Chromebooks, but it might also be available on mobile devices as well, such as your Pixel. Um, a lot of work can be done in a web browser these days. Some tasks still require installing apps that aren't available on Chrome OS, which is why Google lets you install Linux apps on your Chromebook. While there are ways to run some Linux apps on Android devices, all of those methods have some limitations and aren't officially, there's that word, is not officially at this time supported by Google. Um, uh, fortunate for us and the end user, Google is plainly working on an official way to have Linux on Android. Hallelujah. Now, Engineers at Google started working on a new terminal app for Android a couple of weeks ago. This terminal app is part of Android Virtualization Framework, AVF, and contains a web view that connects to a Linux virtual machine via a local IP address, allowing you to run Linux commands from the Android host. Initially, you had to manually enable this terminal app using a shell command and then configure the Linux virtual machine yourself. However, in recent days, Google began work on integrating the terminal app into Android as well as turning it into an all-in-one app for running a Linux distro, distro in a virtual machine. Do they have a... Um, so right there where it says terminal, that's where you can set up a shell and run Linux right there. I have never attempted to do that. Apparently, they're giving directions as far as if you want to try it out. 
they list these steps right there. I'm not going to go through all those because honestly, it's pretty geeky. It's pretty boring. But I just wanted to bring this to your attention. If you are a Linux user, if you haven't tried it yet and you do want to give it a try, give a give Google a few I say like, give us a few weeks. Give Google a few weeks, and it appears it, they're working on it and have been working on it and should be ready here shortly. So I'm going to do a full review when this is out and available. I'm going to do a full review on my Pixel of this virtual machine, this Linux virtual machine, and kind of let you know what can be done, what can't be done. I've used it before, uh, just don't use it that much, but have some some history with it. Um, but I fully intend to do a, a complete review, app review of this. So um, if you want to wait until the app review is out to kind of see what it looks like, see how you enable it, that's totally cool so i'll do all the testing here on my end and you can just sit back and and watch and see if that's something that you want to uh install on your device right so it looks like it will be available for not only phones but for chromebooks as well which is cool so um i'll link this article in the description box below once this video is done you can tell here gives you some uh some methods of how to run linux on your device right now and as you can tell it's not that easy that's why i don't ever mess with it um on my phone because you gotta start a you gotta start a terminal you gotta enter some commands via the shell you gotta do this you gotta do that you gotta jump through all these hoops just to get it up and running and um it's just not worth it for me but if they're gonna officially support it where all you do is basically go into developer options switch a toggle on and uh, basically a couple clicks later you're up and running that's perfect that's awesome then i probably will use it so um if you want to wait and check out that my review i'm going to do a how to download install and use linux um on android here whenever it gets fully supported right it says what's interesting before we get out of here about the patch that adds these settings is that it it was tested on uh, um the pixel tablet and pixel 9 pro xl cool so we do know it will work officially on the well, it looks like it will work on the pixel tablet and the pixel 9 pro xl um this suggests that the terminal app won't be limited to just chromebooks so it will be supported on android sweet now, before we get out of here, I just wanted to remind everybody, if you do have a Pixel, Android 15 is right around the corner. So, I saw that there was a, um, uh, who was it? Jay Will. On Jay Will's channel, I was watching his, his Pixel video he put out today. His 30-day review of the Pixel phone. And I think he's mentioned something about it being redundant, a redundant review. And I was like, what the hell is he talking about? So I watch it. And in this video, um, he's, he discusses, he, he makes a statement of saying, well, I don't know when this is going to get the October update because, I mean, my Samsung just got it. All my other uh, Android phones have the October update. And I think he forgot. So Google, if you have a Pixel, normally in a normal month, we're on the 12th of October, right? Google traditionally, before they unofficially switched over, officially prior to maybe a year ago before they made the switch, Google would release the security patches and software updates on the first Monday of every month, right? So we've blown past the first Monday of October. And where's the October update? Where did it go, Jay Will? Where did it go? Well, if you forgot, Android 15 is set to be released. Now, when is that set to be released, Jay Will? Next, this upcoming week. Literally in days, maybe four or five days. So instead, so Google is going to release Android, the stable build of Android 15 with with the October security patch. So Google said, uh, well, Google made a decision. They're not going to release the October security patch on the first Monday of this October. And then literally days after that, release Android 15 update to everybody. They're going to combine the October security patch and Android 15 together 
and then send that to Pixel devices here in just a few days. This upcoming week, I believe it is, it's either Monday or Wednesday, so literally just days away. So I put that in the comment, but I think he deletes my comments. Uh, I'm not rude or anything. I just say, you must have forgot basically what I just explained. I was uh, I went back to that video a little while ago and I didn't see my comment there, whatever. Uh, but if I'm saying this because Android 15 right around the corner, we're going to have a huge review of Android 15. Special features, new features, any differences. Um, now, if you have a new Pixel 9 series, you should be very, very, very excited. Um, this is going to make... So the Pixel right now, the Pixel 9 Pro XL, maybe the phone of the year. <laughs> I mean, I freaking love this thing. Um, was I a little overzealous on the fact that it had a poor benchmark score? Yes, I'll admit it. I was probably jumped the gun, was probably wrong to... Um, you know say the cpu sucks yeah but it does not suck all right i was wrong i admit it i was wrong it's phenomenal now again i don't play games y'all know this i don't have any mobile games on my phone so maybe if you're a gamer maybe you might not be the first phone to select but i don't play phones i'm i don't play games so i love this thing does everything i needed to and very fast and snappy however android 15 is supposed to be super duper optimized for the especially for all phones but especially for this pixel 9 series um supposed to get better battery life supposed to get even improve upon that badass modem they have in there so even more uh, uh strength of signal for mobile devices uh for ca carrier services um, you're going to get better transitions, better animations, smoother operating. If you can, if they can do that, Android 14 has been my absolute favorite release of Android of all time. Uh, I love Android 14. So uh, I'm really looking forward to this Android 15 coming out this week. So um, we're going to have a full review of it. Just wanted to remind everybody that Android 15 is literally right around the corner. Just days away. So um, stay tuned to the channel, eSIM Studios YouTube channel. We're going to review it, as I mentioned, a full review of Android 15 right here on the Pixel 9 Pro XL. And don't forget, today, uh, the reason why I'm doing a live stream a little late today, um, I went outside today with no clouds in the sky and was comparing these two suckers. So I was taking a lot of photos with this and a lot of photos with these two. So I'm going to do, I'm going to put together a video, probably release it tomorrow, um, of comparisons, still photos, videos, um, not an extensive review because I just started using it today, but it will be, it'll be a good comparison between Pixel and uh, iPhone, right? Um, and you might be surprised. I was definitely shocked. So I'll just leave it at that and upload the video and let you be the judge of the better photo quality. And then maybe we can review uh, some of the findings, right? With all these are updated, latest software, latest patches, everything's, all the apps are updated. So everything's up to par and um, very, very fair test. But be on the lookout for that. Should, should have it uploaded tomorrow if not Monday at the latest. Um, trying to get it out ASAP because then I'm kind of behind the uh, eight ball here with this iPhone thing since everybody got theirs before before I did, but um, it is all good. Uh, let me say hi to everybody before I get out of here. Uh, Walter Sky Jr., what's going on, brother? Thank you for joining us today. It's good to see you around here. Brian, appreciate your support, man. Thank you a lot. You're here every day, and I really appreciate it. Uh, you don't get Android 15? Oh, yeah, you're in Canada. Uh, yeah, we don't get Android 15. Next year? That sucks. Linux for giving a new life to older can Yes. I definitely think so. Um, there's two operating systems. So if you have, and maybe I'll do a video on this. If you have an older laptop, right? Say it's eight years old, right? An eight-year-old laptop pretty old especially in windows right i'm not talking about mac mac and macbooks i'm talking about windows if you have an eight-year-old windows computer definitely has stopped getting security updates um 
it was probably pretty sluggish, right? An eight-year-old CPU, probably pretty old. The, the best thing to give it a new life is to install Linux and or Chrome OS. So actually, uh, Google makes a really cool conversion and it's an, it's an official conversion where you can install Chrome OS on your old Windows laptop and it is very fast, very snappy, and it is secure. So, well, as secure as it can be, I think Google will still update. Uh, so basically what you're gonna do is turn your old Windows laptop into a Chromebook. I mean, that's basically what it's doing, but you get a nice secure form of, a, of Chrome OS. And if you don't know what Chrome OS is, it's pretty cool. I'm actually live streaming right now on Chrome OS. I have my Samsung Chromebook here and uh it's badass right i kind of forced myself i have not been a big fan of chrome os lately um but i've kind of forced myself using this samsung chromebook it's i really like it i can do everything on here i can unlock phones on here i can uh do everything i can do on a windows laptop i just can't run windows programs but most of this stuff if you do most of your daily activities from an android phone or from Chrome on a computer, then you, you will be able to use Chrome OS because you can download and install any Android app. You can install on your phone, you can install on Chrome OS, or you can install on an old Windows laptop that has Chrome OS. You can install apps. Um, very, very cool. And Linux is fairly similar, right? So that's why you can turn an old laptop, you can give it new life by installing Linux or Chrome OS. I might do a video about that. Thank you, Brian, you gave me a good idea. <laughs> so we'll have an Android, we'll have a iPhone camera review uploaded soon. I'll have a video uploaded on iPhone versus Pixel soon. I'll do a video on Android 15 full review coming up this week. And I'll also do how to install Chrome OS on a Windows laptop and or Linux on an older laptop and give your old laptop some new life. So... Uh, thank you. You gave me a couple good uh, good video ideas, so I appreciate it, guys. Um, let me get out of here. I'm up against it, and um, I got to run. What did, what did you say? You laughed at the benchmarks until you saw the reviews, and I remember what Flossie Carter said about benchmarks. Yeah. Samsung user, too. Yeah. Uh, I know. I'm... I mean, it's true, right? And I knew that coming into this. I just, you know, it was kind of a, kind of got wrapped up in my own. Uh, they were, I was expecting more, right? I was expecting more from the G4 CPU. And when it did not meet, meet my expectations on paper, uh, I was like, here we go again. But I should have learned, like, from the last pixels I've used. I did the same thing last year. Saw the benchmark results from the 8 Pro that got leaked right before they were launched. I was like, ah, oh, great. We're going to have another shitty CPU. Got the Pixel 8 Pro. Freaking loved it. And <laughs> fell in the same trap this year. Thought it was not a good CPU. Using this phone, freaking love it. So, but I think next year is when the table, when the tide turns. Next year, TSMC is building their new G5 CPU. It's, it shall not disappoint. So I think it's going to be fantabulous, fantastic CPU on the Pixel 10 series. So uh, let me get out of here, guys. I appreciate the time. Uh, we'll go live tomorrow and I'm um, trying to get a giveaway together uh, for everybody. So just stay tuned to the channel. We'll have a giveaway coming up soon and um, get a lot of cool stuff coming. So uh, thank you for the time. Please be safe. Enjoy this Saturday evening, Saturday afternoon, and whenever you're watching this video. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out, guys. Take care. Appreciate it, Brian.